Hi everyone, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Uh, taking a look at something a little bit different today, and I originally wasn't going to review this, uh, but it does have a blade on it, and so I thought, you know, it, it, it is technically a knife. Uh, I suppose it has, it has this blade. Uh, so it's a multi-tool, it's actually a gun tool. Now, I'm not a huge gun guy. I have a couple guns, but I don't hunt. Um, about the only thing I do is shoot trap with my father-in-law uh, occasionally. But I was uh, in the market for a choke tool for my shotgun and came across this, decided, oh, you know, this has some other things that might be useful. Let's pick it up. Um, and as I say, I hadn't intended to review, review it here because this isn't a gun channel. This is a knife channel. But since it had the knife, and I know there is some crossover between people who like guns and people who like knives, I thought, well, I'll put it up here, and if anybody's interested, they can take a look at it. If you're not, you know, feel free to skip this video. So, what we've got. Uh, first, let's take a look at that blade. This is 420 steel. Uh, you know, a little sort of bird's beak blade. Not going to be the greatest blade in the world, but, you know, it is there if you need to open some things. A uh, box of shells, something like that. The other tools on here, really quickly, we've got uh, a pin punch. And then what I was actually looking for, the choke tool. And it goes uh, from 410 all the way up to 10 gauge. There is also a small flathead screwdriver on the end of this. And then we have um, some Allen wrenches. I'm not sure that I'll be able to get this out without opening something else. This, so that is one issue. This, the Allen wrenches can be a little bit difficult to get out. Uh, but we've got, or excuse me, Torx screws. We've got three Torx wrenches and then two Allen wrenches. So uh, you've got a little bit of a selection there. And then you have this little uh, compartment. You've got four driver bits. And they go right in the end here. It's magnetic. And so if you need to uh, you know, adjust uh, your scope or anything like that, you can use some of these things. So, again, just a quick look at this little tool uh, that I wasn't originally going to do. Um, but this is from Real Avid, okay, Universal Original Gun Multi-Tool. So, there you go. Take it for what it's worth. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you stuck around, have a good day, and I'll catch you next time.